Good evening, welcome back to the channel. And on tonight's episode, we're going to be hitting up the uh, little 1970 Fear again. And this time, we're going to be looking around the rear window. So let's just have a little shifty at what I'm talking So, zoom ooh, out, not in. Um, rear window's still in on here. And as you can see, down in the corner here, and potentially down in the corner there, there is some rust which kind of sanded back and it looks relatively surface however anyone that's ever done a classic car is going to know as i peel this rubber back it's going to be a lot grottier inside so um those of a certain age we might say Where's the rust going to be? Place bets now. My bet, around here, on the inside of the lip, around on the inside of the window flange. Likewise, around here. Um, if we look inside, it's a bit dark in here. Where it goes is where this drain tube runs. Now, I did cheat a little bit and poke my finger up under there and I can feel crusty stuff, so I do know it's gone through there. I do have a panel to replace this. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the window, but we're gonna keep the rubber intact, mainly because the rubber's actually decent and I wanna reuse it. So I'll show you a little trick that you can use to get these windows out without having to slice the rubber as I did on the side windows because I wasn't really bothered about keeping those so it involves uh, using a filler spreader actually well a number of filler spreaders and a little bit of um, lubricant of some sort grease I normally use and what we're going to do with them is basically grease them up and slide probably 10 or so um, filler spreaders in at intervals around the perimeter of the window and what that will do is it'll actually peel the rubber off the lip and it will allow us to just push the glass out I am going to hold it in place with a bit of gaffer tape because the last thing I want to do is pop the window out and have it smash on the floor down there so that's tonight's little mission so although i didn't film it i have run the filler spreaders around the inside of the glass and i have got the glass out so let's just safely stash that down over there with the rest of it and to my surprise it's not anywhere near as bad as i thought I thought it was going to have gone through all around here. I thought it was going to have gone through all around here. This, however, is perfect and will clean up nicely. And this, although it needs cutting out, certainly up to there and around there. Do a separate little bit over here. The actual flange that the window sits up against is fine. So this is a really, really easy fix. And for once in my life, I'm pleasantly surprised at peeling back some rust. Or peeling back something and finding no rust, or very little. Let's not say none. But as far as old Fiat's go, that's basically concourse. So what I intend to use to fix it is sections of this pressing here which, granted, is not great. Doesn't really line up anywhere. I suppose it's, yeah, no, I've seen worse. It would have needed a bit of tweaking had I had to have actually used the whole thing. Thankfully, I don't. But what I can do is use quite a lot of this corner here, which is nice because it saves me having to shrink and stretch it by hand. Just take a bit out of that. And obviously this section up here, I can just use a piece of this because it's already bent and it's already the right profile to go over there so we will use that 
to do a fix on there and that will be the uh, that will be the next stage i could clean this up i probably won't bother i'll just literally like mark it out and uh cut it off or i'll mark it out mark it on that panel there cut it out and then just weld it in place job done the other bits of that panel um are going to come in really handy here because this is the front screen and along there it's pretty good except for this part where it has gone through massively so certainly part of that panel i'll be able to use and then just tip the edge over to uh to go around there and i reckon that behind there when i get that screen out is um probably going to be pretty awful but the dash is nice so the window flange that it sits against should also be pretty decent so let's get chopping some metal and um getting these bits in and all tidied up uh, so i started filming this a few days ago and i can't honestly remember whether i actually um showed this being bit being cut out here but if i didn't we've cut this uh little piece to fit we still haven't quite done this bit we'll do that later so what i'm now going to do is just scribe around the edges um so i know where to cut the body And then I'll scribe on the back of this because this overlap is a bit too large. So I'll scribe around there and then I'll trim it with the snips. So we'll scribed up around there and what we'll do is we'll just trim that piece out and grind away the front there so that the rear part of this flange stays where it is. We'll uh, cut along the edge there to get this to match and then we'll clamp that in place, clean it up and get ready to weld it. Okay so it's all cut up, clamped into place. I've got this big heavy piece of uh, metal across the front here just to kind of clamp it in place um, a little squarer um, just to ensure that it's all going to line up nicely and then what we'll do is we'll just throw some tacks on there which I won't bother filming and then we'll just weld it all around I've got a few places where I'm going to try and spot weld it plug weld it through there as well and then we should be able to get on the back side and uh, hammer it out if required. Although these bits you don't even see because this entire edge is covered by the window frame or by, by the um, window seal itself, I should say. So that's all be lined up and just tacked in there. You can see it's looking uh, nice and flush. And so what we'll do is we'll just finish weld that around and then we can start on the small of it. Okay, so we're all welded in and cleaned up there. Um, there was a little more shrinkage along that lower edge than I'd hoped for, but it's a tiny little indent there that will just take a little skip of filler just to cover over. The important thing is though that we now have a uh, a window channel window frame there that is perfect all the way around i just need to prepare that bit ready to uh, to chop out and we'll do the same thing but obviously it's just going to be much tinier there okay so um thanks for watching uh like subscribe drop us a comment if you've enjoyed that and um catch you next time where i'm hoping to be doing a little bit of tuning work on the blue Fiat 500 I've bought 
um, some quite tidy little little bits to uh, to go on there so um, that might interest any of you that want to make some sort of a bath replicas um, at home anyway till next time take care bye bye